Now let's talk about the surface area of a cylinder. So I'm going to do it basically the same way that we talked about the one for the prism. Okay, so I'm going to draw a net. That's how I'm going to start this thing. If I were to take a, a cylinder and let's say I had a sharp knife, or maybe a katana, something like that, and then I slice it like right down here. Let's make a slice. And then I'm going to peel, peel that lateral surface. It's like the label on a can. And when I lay it flat, it just makes a rectangle, right? So it would have a rectangular lateral surface. And uh, I would have my two bases. I would have a circle on the top and the bottom. Don't put two circles down here like it's a really ugly looking truck. Nah, we want a circle and a circle. Sometimes they, whenever they draw these things, they draw them uh, lined up. Sometimes they draw them offset each other. It really doesn't matter as long as you have one on the top and one on the bottom. So let's label some of the parts for this thing. So it has a radius. I'm going to draw in my radius. Radius of R, right? Okay, so same thing down there, radius of R. And uh, let's see, we also have a height, of course. So the height is, the height of the prism is the same thing as the height of that rectangle. And now, if I'm going to find the surface area of this thing, lateral surface area first, just like with the prism, that lateral surface makes a big rectangle. It's like that label on the can once again. So I need to find its area. So to find its area, I have a height already, but what about the base length down here? Well, this base down here, doesn't it have to wrap around this circle? Just like when we were talking about the, the prism, this big length of the rectangle wrapped around the perimeter of the base, it's doing the same thing here. And what is the perimeter of the base? It's the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. So if I want the lateral surface area here, I'm going to take the base length, 2 pi r, and multiply it times the height. There you go. And then if I want the total surface area, we just have to add in two of these circles. If I add in two circles, each one of those circles is pi r squared. Here's the lateral, and then we add in the two bases to get the total. Let's see this over here on PowerPoint. Look at this, very nice and clean. And these set of drawings just gonna unfold this thing, and we can see the lateral surface. It's just a rectangle, two pi r, because we are wrapping that thing around the circumference of the circle and then multiply it times the height and then adding in our two circular bases.